So I'm gonna do this video in the upright position. I just feel like this is the type of video that deserves this type of uh, format. Basically, when you order the Raptor grill, um, it's gonna be missing the F and it's gonna be missing the R. They don't give you all the hardware for it, so you kinda gotta be smart with it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the Ford Raptor grill install on um, basically a Ford F-150. I mean, you could put it pretty much on any generation from 2000 and from like 2000 to like 2010. So what it is, is there's three LED grills, three LED lights in the back. And you have to put these two mini screws on each one, two, four, six, eight. So there's eight mini screws, right? So eight minis. And then you'll have these like kind of longer Phillips heads. So they'll be like these really tiny Phillips. One, two, one, two, one, two, eight, two, four, six, excuse me, six. And then you'll have these brackets and they come with these long uh, Phillips screws and ba not too long, you know, cause this is bigger. So imagine they're smaller, but, um, and I don't even know what that goes to yet. It's probably going to be some of the bracketry for the, I don't know, whatever post up. I'll show you guys in a second. Let's get back to it. But the F and the R and the two side brackets use the exact same screws. I put two screws and two screws instead of the four recommended because this would allow four on each bracket. Four and four is eight. What I did is I used two and two, and then I used two and two. So two on the brackets, two, four. So four for the brackets and four put to the side for the F and the R, two and two. So two and two, two and two. Two on the brackets, each bracket, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And basically, this is what it looks like when you're complete. It's kind of cool. Um, I only say kind of because this kit was very difficult as far as uh, installation-wise. Like, I've been doing this, I don't know, let's just say uh, 17 years. This was the first time I ever decided to touch wiring and build cars and stuff. So it comes with this nice little, like, weather-wrapped wiring. And it comes with a positive and ground. Maybe there's a light on the actual hood but i doubt it um but this wire has to run down from the grill across the hood and then it's supposed to connect into the fuse box i really don't think they gave us enough wire to neatly tuck this away because if you run it from the grill you'd want to run it to the side and down and down the hood you wouldn't want to run it like through the middle it would be ridiculous or like at a 180 degree angle you want to go one corner to one corner you know you always want to go corner to corner not just throw wires and hang them right in the middle you know all this stuff right here is going to fold over like this one two one two and i'm going to sheet it over so here's the two bolts i talked about one two and then there was an additional bolt that went here and an additional bolt that went in the back i had the hardest time trying to get that one in especially on this bracket so i left it alone i ended up pulling the bolts out this one and this one so i only left two the two upper ones Again, on this one, the two upper ones, as you can see on the F, one and one on each corner, one and one on each corner. And you use a washer to give it a gap because you don't want to crack the lettering on the outside where it screws into. So that the spacer will actually lock down the bolt as well as it'll give it nice gap. Um, I use a spacer on everything because all these brackets seem to be bigger than they should have been. The bolts are like just falling through the holes. So you had no choice but to use spacers. But like here I didn't, but I used them because I had them. You know, they kind of give you an assortment of extra pieces, I guess. I'm not too sure how this works. Um, you know, the spacers might be actually for all these bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six bolts, six spacers. Um, there was six of these clamps. One, two, three. One, two, three. I went ahead and installed all that. Again, like I said, I went through this video because I didn't think that they did a very good job designing this kit. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to figure it out. How I figured out that this was gonna go because this grill would face forward so this will be the driver's side and that'll be the passenger side but how i figured it out was i took the bracket and then i ended up just walking up to the truck and then just figured out what side was what and then laying down the grill the exact same way and was able to determine that this is how it goes um normally i leave the bolts a little loose i tighten them up because i'm only using two originally when it was four it was a little loose so i could shimmy it and what i did was on the back here i tried to just get it as flush as possible in between these two so it's kind of center as well as over here, the same thing. Um, you know, on the back where it goes, it's flush. And then it's got a little gap there. But like here and here, it's got a little gap. So I'll probably loosen that one up. We'll figure it out once it's on the car. But again, this is a Ford Raptor grill. It's not painted. It did come ready to be painted, but this one isn't. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, the final results. It's worth getting. Just take your time. Be patient. If you got any clients that try to rush you or... You know, whatever the case may be, the point is take your time. 
Take your time. You always do a good job. If you get frustrated, come back to it. Walk away. Go have a chill pill for a second. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's Mike with Mad Mike's Customs.